Let's practice tracing double nested for loops. Here in this worksheet we have a main method that's essentially a bunch of call statements for methods, static methods, that are included in this client program. So the first uh, call statement is for print stars one. So the the execution uh, moves from this call statement down here to print stars one. And we have a for loop that uses the loop variable i. It's initialized to one. Okay. Uh, anyway, this chunk of code, this, uh, this method, produces this output right here. So I'm not going to trace that. I'm going to trace the, the next piece of code. Let's trace print stars too. Because of this system out print right here, our cursor is now blinking, uh, I believe, not on the very next line of output, but it's uh, poised and, and ready to print right there. Because uh, we did print right here, this print ln, that moved us from here down to here. But then when the computer came up here and executed this system out print, we moved from here down to here. So this is where we're currently uh, sort of blinking, ready to produce some output right in there uh, approximately. Okay, so we call the method print stars two. Uh, what happens? Well, the variable i in this outer for loop is initialized to four. We check to see if i is greater than one, and it is, so that's true. And therefore, we proceed through the outer for loop. We do not i minus minus yet. That's uh, reserved for later. We now get inside this for loop, and we encounter another for loop. It's a for loop that only has one body statement, so it doesn't need a set of curly braces here. And uh, the loop variable inside the center for loop is j, and j is initialized to 1. And we check to make sure j is less than i. 1 is less than 4, so we system out print star. And because this is print and not print ln, there is a little star that prints right here. And then we loop back up to uh, the top of this inner for loop. We j++. We check to make sure j is less than i, which it is. 2 is less than 4. So we go through this inner loop again, and we system out print star. We loop back up to the top. We j++. We check to make sure j is less than i, which it is. So we system out print another star, a third star. We loop back up, we j++. We check to make sure j is less than i, and it's not, false. Four is not less than four. So we are finished executing this inner for loop. The computer moves to this line of code, system out print ln, and the blinking cursor moves down to the next line and uh, it doesn't print anything, but it's there. And then we execute this curly brace, which tells us to go back up to the uh, top of the outer for loop. And for the first time, we come in from the right side here and we do i minus minus. Now I could write the three here, but I could also write the three here to kind of reflect where I am in this tracing of this code exactly. Um, and that uh, relative to the variable j. And we come in here further from the right side and we check to make sure i is greater than 1. Uh, 3 is greater than 1. So now we go through the, we iterate the outer for loop again a second time. And because of the way Java executes this code, this is just the way it works, this inner for loop this inner for loop acts as if it's uh, reset or had never been uh, 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 traversed one time or executed one time. So the variable j, which temporarily the variable j was out of scope and therefore didn't exist, but now it's being redeclared. It's being set equal to one, 
as if it never existed before. And we're checking to make sure j is less than i. Yes, 1 is less than 3. So we system out print a star, which prints uh, the star right here, where we were waiting to print. We loop back up to the top of the inner for loop, and j plus pluses to 2. j is less than i because 2 is less than 3 right now. So we system out print another star. We go back up to the top of this inner for loop. We j plus plus to 3. 3 is not less than 3. So we uh, stop executing the inner for loop. We release through to execute this line of code, which brings the cursor down to the next line. And we're poised and ready to print something here. We hit this curly brace, which sends us back up to the top of the outer for loop. Again, we come in from the right side and we I minus minus. That 3 is now down to a 2. 2 is greater than 1. So we do come through the outer for loop. We are sort of resetting everything inside here. And we carefully redeclare the variable j and set it equal to 1. So it's no longer 3, it's back to 1. We check to make sure j is less than i. Yes, 1 is less than 2. So we go through this inner for loop. We don't j++ yet. We go through this inner for loop. We system out print a star. We come up to the top of the inner for loop and we j++. We check to make sure that j is less than i. No, it's not. 2 is not less than 2. So we are finished. We system out print ln. Moves our blinking cursor down here. We uh, hit this curly brace, which tells us once again to come up here to the outer for loop, and we I minus minus. I don't really have room there. Well, I guess I can make room. Uh, J, uh, the variable I is now down to the value 1. We check to make sure I is greater than 1, which it's not. So therefore, this is false for the first time. Therefore, we don't go through the outer for loop again. And we hit this closing curly brace, which ends this void method. Nothing's being returned, but we do end the execution of this method. In which case, we come back up here to the calling method that called print stars to. We come back up to here. We system out print ln this, uh, this uh, statement, print ln which drops our blinking cursor down to here. We're poised and ready to print something here. And now we call the method print stars 3. Okay, so I, I just uh, executed print stars 2, showed you how a double nested for loop iterates and how you can keep track of the variables involved. Uh, you've already seen the output to print stars 1. It printed these three stars in a slightly different arrangement than this arrangement of three of stars. And now you have these two exercises, these two or three methods here to execute. Look at the differences. Here, uh, besides the, the names of the local variables, k and m, n and p, s and t, besides that, um, let's see, they all in the outer for loop use 4 as an upper boundary. That's interesting to note. They all plus plus. They're loop variable. The inner for loops though, here we start m at k. So m starts at 1. Uh, is that right? Yeah. Uh, you can trace it on your own, but it's interesting. p starts at 0 and plus pluses, and eventually p hits 4 minus n. That's interesting. And uh, this one here, ooh, we have a, two for loops inside of a for loop. Well, maybe I'll trace some of those just to, to show you what happens. Uh, let's do another one of these to uh, see what happens. Print stars 3. k initialized at 1. k is less than 4. 
m is initialized at k. So m is also initialized at 1 because k is currently 1. Is m greater than 0? Yes, it is. So system out print a star. Uh, we might m minus minus it's down to 0. 0 is not greater than 0, so we don't print anything, and we print this ln instead. Our cursor is dropped down to this line. We go back up to the outer for loop, we k plus plus. k is less than 4, so we hit this uh, inner for loop again, which means m resets to k. Now k is currently 2, so m resets to 2. 2 is greater than 0. So we execute this inner for loop again. System out print star. We, we are on a new line there. We go back up to here. We m minus minus. m is greater than 0. So we system out print another star. We come back up. We m minus minus. 0 is not greater than 0. So we're finished here. We system out print ln. So we are dropped down to this line. We, come, we hit this curly brace, we come back up to the top, we k plus plus. k is now up to 3. 3 is still less than 4, so we execute this inner for loop again as if we've never seen it before. m is redeclared as k. Now k is currently 3. 3 is greater than 0, so we print a star. We come back up here, we m minus minus, we print another star, we come back up here, we m minus minus, we print another star, we come back up here, we m minus minus, zero is not greater than zero, so we're finished here, we print ln, our cursor drops down to here, we come back up here, we k plus plus, we check the control expression is 4, k is 4. Is 4 less than 4? No, it's not. That's a false. So we don't go through this outer loop again, and we're finished. We just executed the method print stars 3. We travel back up to the, to the main method, and now that print stars 3 is finished, we execute this system out print, ln drops our cursor down to another line and we're ready to execute print stars 4. Print stars 4, I want to change the color of my curse, uh, pen just to be interesting. Print stars 4 uses the variable n, it's initialized to 1. n is less than 4 so we uh, go to p, p is initialized to 0. Ooh, interesting, is p less than 4 minus n? 4 minus n right now is 3, because 1 n is 1. So, yes, p is less than 3. So we system out print a star. We come back up here, we p plus plus. Is p less than 4 minus n? Let's see, is p 1 less than 4 minus n? 4 minus n is 3, so 1 is less than 3. Phew, a lot of work. We print a star. We come back up here to the top. We p plus plus. Is p less than 4 minus 2? Oh, I'm sorry, is p is 2 less than 4 minus n, which is 3? Yes, it is. So we system up print another star. We come back up here. We p plus plus. Is p less than 4 minus n? Is 3 less than 4 minus n? Well, 4 minus n is still 3. Is 3 less than 3? No. So we don't execute this system out print. Instead, we print this, uh, we execute this print ln, which drops our cursor down here. We have this closing curly brace, which tells us to come back up here. We n plus plus to 2. Is 2 less than 4? Yes, it is. So we come through this outer for loop. We reset the inner for loop. p is equal to 0. p is redeclared and set equal to 0. Is p less than all this? Well, 4 minus n right now is 4 minus 2. So this is 2. Is p 0 less than 2? Yes, it is. So we system out print this star. 
you come up here, we P plus plus. Is P, which is 1, is it less than 2? Yes, it is, so we print another star. We come back up here, we P plus plus. Is 2 less than 2? No, it's not. So we don't do this. Instead, we print LN, brings us down to here. We come back up to the outer for loop. We end plus plus, and is up to uh, 3 now. We re-execute this inner for loop because 3 is less than 4 right now. P is reinitialized to 0. Is 0 less than 4 minus n? Well, 4 minus n right now is 4 minus 3. It's 1. Is 0 less than 1? Yes, it is. So we print another star. We P plus plus. Is P, which is 1, is P less than 4 minus n? No, 1 is not less than 1, so we're done. The system print ln, come down here that is. We get that curly brace, which means come back up here, n plus plus is to 4. The outer loop checks its control expression. Is n less than 4 right now? No, it's not. So we're finished with the outer for loop, which means we hit this closing curly brace of the method itself, print stars 4 which finally releases us to go back to return back up here where we now system out print ln here so the blinking cursor is uh, ready and waiting right here and I'll uh, let you do some work uh, on this worksheet print stars 5 is what you can do next by executing this code segment uh, looks like we have a uh, two for loops only when this for loop is completely exhausted do you re re release through and execute this for loop. And then you get to the system print ln like you saw on these previous code segments. And then you come back up here and you uh, increment the loop variable for the outer loop. Uh, it, I don't know, it looks like this prints, uh, this outer, this for loop prints blank spaces. This for loop prints stars. I think you end up with uh, an arrangement of stars that's either one of these uh, uh, right angles or a right angle like this. Uh, there's a little bit of a pattern going on here if you're if you're like looking at the design of these. So I think this last method, print stars five, does something something like this. You'll have to figure it out. Hey, maybe it even prints the stars like this. Uh, maybe it does something like that instead of these shapes. Uh, there, or maybe it does this. You'll have to trace it to figure it out.